Hello scholars. Well today we're going to focus on a poem about veterans. Veterans Day. Veterans Day is November 11th. So we're going to read a poem about Veterans Day. Alright, this Veterans Day poem is by Cheryl Dyson. I've already cut it, trimmed it, glued it because I don't think you have to, sh I don't have to show you how to do that. You already know how to do it. So I've trimmed it, glued it. It's in my poetry journal ready to be read and focused on. So Veterans Day by Cheryl Dyson. On Veterans Day we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom brave and bold. Some have lived while others died. All of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. Now, veterans, anybody who has served in the military, the armed forces, in the United States, we have five branches of the armed forces. We have the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, and the Air Force. So if you know a veteran, maybe your dad or your mom or an uncle or an aunt, or even if you have an older brother and sister, maybe they're serving in the military. If they've served in the Army, Navy, Marine, Coast Guard, or Air Force, they are veterans. And we owe them a great deal of thanks and respect for putting their life on the line for our country and our freedoms. So, first thing we're going to do, read over our poem, and we're going to listen for the rhyming words. We already read it, but let's read it again and listen for rhyming words. Remember, the rhyming words sound the same at the end of a word. We're looking for a pair of words that helps keep the rhythm and the rhyme of the poem going. So this time as we read, think about rhyming pairs, okay? Veterans Day by Cheryl Dyson. On Veterans Day we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom brave and bold. Some have lived while others died. All of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. So I'm going to take my highlighter, which today is going to be my yellow crayon, and I am going to look for words and listen for words that rhyme. So can you think of a word that rhymed? are a pair of rhyming words. Let's just read the first two lines. On Veterans Day we honor all who answered to a service call. There's a rhyming pair. All and call. They sound the same at the end. All call. Look, even all is in the word call. So we know that's a rhyming pair because they sound the same. Let's continue. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. How about old and bold? Do they rhyme? Do they sound the same at the end? Yes, they do. So I'm going to highlight old and bold. Let's do the next few lines. Some have lived while <coughs> others died. All of them deserve our pride. Died and pride. Yes, they rhyme. They don't look the same. But remember, rhyming words don't look the same. Rhyming words sound the same. I think I see a pattern. I think I can just go through and highlight all the last words. But that'd be kind of cheating our brain. So let's make sure that they do indeed rhyme. You never know. Sometimes they might put a, a couple of lines in there that don't have a rhyming word. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. Who and blue? They rhyme. They don't look the same, but they sound the same. So I'm going to highlight them. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. Rights and nights. They rhyme. They're even spelled the same at the end. I-G-H-T-S. Both of those. Sound the same and look the same. 
And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. How about name and same? Yes, they rhyme too. Every end of a line in this rhyme rhymed, had a rhyming pair. But I'm glad we went and checked just in case. I wouldn't have wanted to mark the wrong words. All right, shall we read our poem one more time while we think about Veterans and Veterans Day? All right, Veterans Day by Cheryl Dyson. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. Excellent job, guys. Well, our follow-up is going to be to write some factual sentences about veterans. So we're going to go over here to our follow-up page, and we're going to write the directions. Remember, it's really important that we write the directions, so in case we don't finish at one time, we won't go, I don't remember the directions. And Mom and Dad are not in our room, so they don't know what we talk about. Write five factual sentences about, let's just put Veterans Day, Veterans or Veterans Day, how about that, about veterans people who have served in the military, or we can write about Veterans Day. Now you might be thinking, I don't know anything about Veterans Day. Well, don't worry, we're going to read some books where we can gather some facts. Maybe watch a short little video clip so you can grab some facts and write them down. Make sure that you are writing sentences. And we know they've got to have a capital letter at the beginning. They have to end with a period, some kind of punctuation. And we're going to write five of them. They have to make sense. So you just can't write words without capitals. Some of you have been forgetting your capitals lately. So make sure every sentence you write begins with a capital letter. All sentences. And how about we just put a one there. Well, what's something we know about veterans? Or Veterans Day. I'll give you the first sentence if you want to copy this one. Perfectly okay. Veterans Day. So oh, here's a fact about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is November 11th. It's always the 11th of November. That's the day that World War I ended, the 11th day, the 11th month, at the 11th hour. So sometimes we pause for a moment of silence to remember all the people who've given their lives for us, that we can have freedoms. So there's one sentence. Two. I skipped a line, it just makes it look neater. Two. And you're going to find out another one. Remember, as we read our other books, or we watch video clips or have a discussion, you can write more. I said something about veterans and um, the five veterans are people who've served in the military. There's another fact. We could write that down. Now, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go to your poem and write down, um, soldiers are young and old. Yeah, but that's not really a fact. That's I mean, it is a fact, but it's not a good deep fact about Veterans Day. And don't go here and say, Veterans Day we honor all. Yes, we do, but that's not a complete sentence or a complete thought. So don't go copy things out of your poem. Just copy the words, because that's not really the depth we're looking for here. We're looking for facts. Does our poem have facts? Yes, it does, but you have to switch them into Facts. Like you couldn't say, they fought for red, white, and blue. They kept thinking of red, white, and blue. What does that mean? What did they fight for? What is the red, white, and blue? 
it's America. So you could say veterans are military people who fought for America. There's the fact you get out of red, white, and blue. So don't just go pull words out of the poem and stick them over here. You might have to change them and dig deeper for the real meaning. All right? But um, think about the books we read. Write some, write some facts down. Or you could have a conversation with your parents. They're a great source of information. All right, guys, five. You can illustrate if you like. A lot of people like to put red, white, and blue things on their poem, the poem book, you know, so I might might take my blue and put some stars up here. It looks more purplish, you know, just red, white, and blue stars. You know, I might find my red and add, add some red stripes, kind of like I'm making the flag or something. I don't know, have fun. It's a good time to have fun. I might put a wavy wavy lines under there. Ah, there's my red, my blue, and my page is my white. All right, guys. All right. I look forward to reading your factual sentences. Remember, periods and capitals. All right, guys. Go out and do great works.